Hi guys, today is the 9th of December 2020, it's 4 minutes past 3 in the morning over here in the UK. I wanted to talk today about what I'm just seeing basically. Um, I came across this report on Yahoo Life and it's about some celestial events that are going to be taking place in December. Um, the first of which, the largest meteor shower of 2020, the Gemini meteor shower. Um, lots of you already know about that. On the night of Sunday, December the 13th, and into the early hours of Monday, December the 14th, the Geminid meteor shower will reach its peak. And I was looking at this scene, and I remember early interpretations of this ring that the girl sits within being interpreted as a representation of the sun, and this little spot over here possibly being a meteor coming from behind the sun or heading towards the sun, um, and the reference to it being a dark meteor, meaning that it's not visible until you know it's kind of too late or possibly during an eclipse um visibility of the asteroid might be seen uh, that was just a theory that i put out a long time ago and i'm kind of coming back to it because we're reaching up to december 15th uh, sorry december 13th and i'm looking at these characters and i'm seeing the 12 blue characters and then the girl in the middle making the 13th character that's a reference to 12 13. so there's some possible reference to timeline here is what I'm generally getting at. And then we have the only total solar eclipse of the sun in 2020. That's happening on December 14th and we already talked about that. It will only be visible in South America, specifically Chile and some parts of Argentina. So again, we're looking at the possibility of a reference to an eclipse. We know that at the end of the video where we have the Helio font title we can see that there's a reference to an eclipse as well. Um, even on this character's face here, the eye part here of the corona, uh, we often think of that as an eclipse as well. And I pointed out that I think that this leaf behind this character's head seems to point out the number 15 as the five goes behind the head just there. And if that's a possible reference to like 12 blue characters, 15 behind the head, then it's possible that this is 12, 14. And obviously we do have what we've been interpreting as an eclipse. So that could be right in line as well. And then we have uh, Jupiter and Saturn. On December 21st, in what is called a great conjunction or kissing planets, Jupiter and Saturn will be extremely close together. The planets will come so close to one another that they will actually appear as a double planet, which looks to us on Earth like one super bright point of light. Historically, this phenomenon has been known as the Christmas star or star of Bethlehem. And obviously that's referenced in the birth of Jesus. And we know that this video manipulates a lot of the biblical uh, scripture. So here we have these two conjoined twins, but you know, if we're looking at, you know, possible references to eclipse and meteors, then we may have a possible uh, reference to planets as well. There's 12 here. I did some research. There's eight, you know, planets as we know them. Mars, Venus, Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, so on and so forth. And then there's four, what you would call dwarf planets. One of those being Pluto. So that could be a reference to what we're seeing here. And we have well, one of the references. Uh, for the 12 characters, their head shapes in particular. And over here, as I've said, we've got these two conjoined heads, which could be a reference, if we're looking at planets, to the two kissing planets, one being uh, Jupiter and the other being Saturn. And I think uh, Saturn even more, because of, again, Saturn has the rings, and we do have that ring around the corona. So we could be looking at a, a time reference here, um, which we're coming up on, on December 13th, December 14th, and then, as I said, we go on through to December 15th. Um, now, in terms of the potential asteroid impact, I've said that it could be, you know, man-made in terms of, you know, manipulated. It could be using technology to make it look like an asteroid impact, or it could be an actual asteroid that's been redirected here. And we know that NASA has a mission called uh, DART, which is a redirect asteroid mission. <coughs> Excuse me. There's been a lot of uh, missions 
uh, up into space by a lot of different countries over this last year. And one of those missions was by Japan and they returned with a sample from an asteroid on December 5th, uh, December 6th in Australia, where the sample landed. And the asteroid, we have looked at this asteroid before, its name is Ryugu. And some of you will remember when I say that Ryugu, the name itself, um, means Dragon Palace. And uh, you'll be able to find videos on my channel uh, referring to the Dragon's Palace and uh, the crashing down or the coming down of Dragon's Palace and that being a possible biblical reference as well to the dragon coming down and after that we know that the, the water spews forth. Now if, for example, the asteroid is named Dragon Palace or its name means Dragon Palace, then if that was to crash down into the Pacific Ocean, for example, or the Atlantic Ocean, for, for example, that would inevitably create a tsunami wave. So you could say, metaphorically, that a biblical scripture is being fulfilled in terms of the dragon being cast down and then spewing the water after the woman. Now, the woman, symbolically, has been, you know, looked at to be America. Um, but there's also other interpretations where it could be the UK or, you know, Great Britain. Um, and that's because obviously America was essentially birthed out of the United States. People left here, went over there, set up something different. So you could essentially call the UK or Britain the motherland for America. So you've got that reference in terms of the water going after the woman could be either or, or could be both. Um, in the IPEC Go 2 video, it does seem to reference both in this scene where we have New York, which is on one side of the Atlantic Ocean, and then you've got a reference to the UK, which is obviously on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, perhaps something landing in the middle, and then something coming out of that, possibly disturbing volcanoes and things like that as well. But again, we're just looking at interpretations here. But even more interesting, as I look at this asteroid theory, um, as I go down to like the landing sites on this asteroid uh, Ryugu that um, this Japanese Hayabusa uh, space probe landed. Uh, one of the places that you can see there is Alice in Wonderland. Um, for a lot of you, I don't need to remind you of the reference to Alice that we have here, where the girl herself possibly referenced Alice, and we have the rabbit in the background. and We've talked about that, you know, in many, many videos um, of how the Alice in Wonderland reference comes into this video. And I just find it curious that there, the Geminid meter shower was happening. We've had the Japanese asteroid, uh, sorry, the Japanese probe return recently. Another interesting thing I found was the, the date it decided to come back was on 13th of November 2019, commands were sent to the Hayabusa to leave the asteroid and begin its journey back to Earth. And um, obviously, it's 13 months later, so left on the 13th of November. 13 months later, we have the sample from the asteroid touching down to Earth. And, you know, who knows, possibly an asteroid itself heading towards Earth or, you know, made to look that way. So we've got a lot of potential connections symbolically from this video to some celestial events that are going to be taking place in the next couple of days. And then in reference to the kissing planets and the Christmas bright star, um, I see here, as I pointed out before, this empty negative space, the silhouette makes up the head, uh, the chest, the leg, or one leg and uh, a partial partial back of what to me uh, resembles a reindeer but a specific reindeer you can see the ear just there you make it bigger for some of you who are using other devices so you can see the the vine leaf or the vine in the background that one little part there that comes down behind these two heads makes the ear of this silhouette of what I think is a reindeer, and I'll say it's not just any reindeer, but I think Rudolph, you've got the X just there, which would be,
essentially on the nose. The X really just symbolizes a point of light. So although it's not red, even though the room is red now, even though the nose itself isn't red, I still feel like this is a reference to Rudolph. And obviously with the other reindeers, they put antlers, but Rudolph supposedly a female. So that's why there's no antlers there. But we have that X on the nose to possibly signify that particular reindeer. And obviously Rudolph is associated with Christmas. So we're right in that time period of Christmas Day with these two potentially kissing planets. We have a reference to December 21st. That same reference, again, you could possibly call the two sides of the apple kissing planets as well um, in the way that they're connected. You've got that 1, 2, 12, 2, 1. 21 reference list there again and as I say the two sides of the apple signify many things but again could be a reference to these this kissing planets um, event between Jupiter and Saturn that will be going on on December the 21st so again that's something something to watch out for um, and then I just wanted to talk about this missile just here what I've done is just taking a screenshot of the missile. I've highlighted the different sections of it. Uh, when you look closer, closely, you can see that like, this line here up to here is fainter than this line here, and this line here is fainter than this line here. You can see the connection between this line and this line. So that's how I know it's, it's broken up. And I've done the investigations in the past, and I've seen that this missile. Or, or penis on the board um, makes up the word cult. C U L T, the L and T being upside down. Uh, if we're looking at possible date references or number references, um, looking at the corresponding numbers to these letters, you've got C as 3, U as 21, L as 12, and T as the number 20. You could read that as a time, day, month and year, so 3 o'clock, 21st of December 2020. Um, obviously again, that date, 2112, comes up again. Uh, we know that that's been looked at in the past, for example, 2012, again, that specific date was on watch then. That was now eight years ago. So perhaps it was meant for a different time. Um, the other way to look at it, is as an L, a T, and instead of breaking these two into a C and a U, and using the numbers from those two corresponding letters, just looking at it as the number three. So you get LT3, which if you break those into numbers, you get 12, 20, and the three remains as a three. And um, well, that could be, you know, for example, December 2020, just giving us a month and a year, or it could be December the 20th at three o'clock, giving us a month day and a time, or we could be looking at 1223 in terms of uh, the month and these two numbers making up the day, so the 23rd of December. Um, and then the last way that I looked at it, just to kind of cover all bases, that's why I put it in blue, is to change the C, U, or the 3 into a W, as you can see just there, and that would be the number 23. Um, so the only way I could look at that was December the 20th, 2023. Um, again, you could kind of get back to the December 23rd by just switching the 23 and the 20. Um, it's interesting, 2023, I feel like that possibility will only come into play if Donald Trump doesn't leave on January 20th, and there are suspicions. Um, the final way of looking at it, instead of looking at the, um, looking at it broken down in this way, I look at it broken down in this way, where this whole section here makes up the letter D. Obviously, I'll flip it around, so it's the right way around, but I do like that. And then, last parts of the one and the three, either given us December, well, D potentially for December 13th, 
or 31st. Hmm. Obviously, we've looked at the 13th already in the other parts of the interpretation from the video. The 12 13 reference from the children in the classroom. Um, 13 appears many times throughout the video um, on the board with the house, either 13 or 31. Um, we've already looked at the missile slash penis. It also appears in the shark as well. Um, it appears outside with the Osama bin Laden scene. I've shown you guys that as well. So there's plenty of references to it. Um, whether it refers to, you know, December 13th, December 31st, January the 3rd, the 13th or 31st in any other month in any other year, or not at all. <laughs> I don't know. But I do these interpretations because I feel like there's some significance to them. And that's why I make these videos. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time. Um, really, I always hope and pray that none of these things happen. Um, but I'm seeing reports recently about a potential submarine test from North Korea. You know, that's coming up. That just came up today. Um, I didn't bring up the report. Uh, sorry about that. But again, if we're looking at the missile on the board, and we know that below that, not in this scene, or in this uh, particular uh, screenshot that I've taken, but in the video, we know that the shark is just below the missile, so perhaps they're connected. If so, this could be a SLBM, a submarine ballistic launch missile, and um, we've got a number 13 attached into it, or the 31st, so it could be associated with a launch from North Korea. Perhaps they're finally showing that they can launch an ICBM or an SLBM that could reach the United States. Um, this would obviously all just be coming before the Electoral College votes to certify um, the election results. And um, my interpretation about a potential event with Donald Trump on the 15th. So there's lots to watch out for. And as I said, I pray and I hope that none of these things happen um, because we've got enough to do with, to be honest. But as the Bible says, there will be troubled times coming, and it may be that this time now is the troubled times that we've been warned about um, in those biblical scriptures. And then we have videos like these that are put out by people who plan, well, people we believe plan to do these things and put these videos out for whatever reason, I don't know. Maybe it's a taunting thing, maybe it's a testing thing, I don't know. Um, maybe it's nothing at all and just a complete waste of time and used to, you know, manipulate the minds of people. Um, but either way, I'm fully aware of those potentials, so I feel like I can sort of guard against it at the same time as giving the information that I feel is relevant uh, to the times that we're in. So you guys, with all that said, I think I've covered everything I wanted to. Um, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening.